Hello and welcome to another edition of Figures from History. Today we are learning about printing pro William Caxton. As always, there are 10 questions at the end of the PowerPoint to check out what you learn. Let's get going. Okay, so some basic information. Well, we don't actually know much about Caxton's early life, but we think he was born in 1422 and died in 1491. He was around about 600 years ago, so they weren't good at keeping records. Let's make a connection with other people and times you might know from history so we can figure out when he was around. He was alive about 300 years after the Normans, so William the Conqueror and his lot, and he was an old man when the Tudors first came into power. In fact, he died in the same year that Henry VIII was born. He was well known for bringing the printing press to England. Okay, so his early life. Well, we're not actually 100% sure who his parents were or when he was born. It's a great start. At least his big achievement in life would stop us from not knowing stuff about people like this so often. Now, his dad was probably a mercer. Hmm? Huh? What's that? Well, it's basically someone who buys and trades things for a job. A bit like eBay or Amazon, but in the 1400s. He mainly traded in silk, which was expensive and could be used to make clothes or embroidered tapestry. When Will was a bit older, he went to work for Robert Large in London. He was also a mercer. He was rich, but we don't know what he looked like, so I chose this guy to represent him. Here, he learns how to trade things. It was an important skill. He also heard plenty of new ideas from around Europe. His adult life. Now, oops, I shouldn't say religious conversion. That's from the one about Rasputin. Whoops. In his late 20s, he visited a small place called Bruges in Belgium. Now, it might look pretty, but kind of boring to you. But trust me, this place was like the Las Vegas of the 1400s. Everybody met here to buy and sell stuff and swap cool new ideas. Now, our friend Caxton met people from around the world and made money by buying and selling silk. It was here that he learned about a dude called Johannes Gutenberg. And Caxton had a great idea. OK, kind of random, but I need to tell you about writing in the 1400s. You're going to see why. Don't worry, it's not as boring as it sounds. So, scribing was the main way that you wrote things in the 1400s. And I'll let you in on a secret, it was rubbish. But why was it rubbish? Well, copy something by hand, and it, you made a mistake, start again. Even if you were at the bottom of the page. Look at that monk. Monks were normally the people who wrote things, and you can tell by his face, it was not a fun time. It took ages. Only two to three pages per day were written in this way. But there was another way to do things. There was also something called woodblock printing. Now all you did here is you would carve stuff out of wood, you'd put ink on it, you'd press it into some cloth. But if you made a little slip or a mistake, you'd have to start again. Now this way was a bit quicker, right? It got you 40 pages done per day. Sounds impressive, right? Wrong. But it does look kind of pretty. Okay, so time to talk about the printing press. Haha. -ha. So this genius called Johannes Gutenberg, and that's such a cool name, thought, well, there's got to be a better and easier way to do this. So he invented the printing press, and it's kind of like a typewriter. You move the paper along, you press buttons for each letter, that's how it worked. And this way, you could produce almost 4,000 pages a day. The fact that you had cheaper paper around at this point helped too. And it changed the world. It meant that people could communicate much quicker. If you had a new idea, something you wanted to discuss with someone who didn't live in your village, in your town, you could do it with the printing press. Oh, well, the only thing that was bad was you had to print stuff upside down and backwards. But enough about that. Well, hang on a minute. What was the big deal with Caxton? I thought we were talking about him, not Gutenberg. Well, he was the first guy to bring it to England. The printing press, that is. The first books he printed in English were the Canterbury Tales, 
which were some cool old tales about a life uh, about life by a guy called Geoffrey Chaucer, and also Aesop's Fables. You might remember those from when you were younger. If you think about things like computers, internet, phones, I really doubt any of those would exist without inventions like the printing press, where we could print down ideas and share ideas. He also helped to write uh, the written English language by developing loads um, of by letting people be able to print ideas and letters and books. And another thing is that now you could print the Bible in English, which meant that the ordinary people could read Bibles, not just priests. And this actually ended up with a lot of tension. That guy's called Martin Luther, by the way. Okay. Course on William Caxton, and there are 10 questions here. You can, if you want a real challenge, you can have a go at them now, or you could go back through the PowerPoint, have another bit of a go and see what you think. I hope you enjoyed this uh, presentation and I will see you for the next one.